Good afternoon, I'm Tiro, and this is a featurette review kind of thingy for Secret of Mana HD version, HD remake. I'm just going to be, uh, the, the footage here is just going to be grinding so you can all tab or just listen and whatnot. So this year for Easter I finally decided to get into Secret of Mana HD play it, see how it is, and whatnot. And I feel compelled to do this review, or at least kind of a nattering about the game, because I am probably one of the few people to have actually played Adventures of Mana. Adventures of Mana is for... or Mana. Is for... was on the PSP and mobile devices. And that is the HD remake of... Seiken Densatsu 1, Final Fantasy Adventure, or Mystic Quest for Japan, United States, and Europe, respectively. And from playing this, that remake, and this remake, I can tell that Secret of Mana HD uses the exact same engine for the gameplay and graphics, and in kind of the exact same way. Many people, they say that this game, uh, Mana HD, is just the exact same game but HD. And this is actually goes down to the enemy behavior, enemy behavior, the fact that even though we're in 3D, it's still kind of working with tile sets. And... yeah. And so I'm just gonna kind of... I just wanted to say that, but like, this is the same thing for Adventures of Mana, like, it's the exact same game, same engine, uses the same tile sets, and so I kind of also why I want to do this, kind of cover the topics that aren't usually covered in reviews, which is kind of my thing, you know, do the stuff that hasn't been done. So, in this game, the difficulty curves are exactly the same. So the enemies here, how they fight, how they play, it's the exact same difficulty spikes as in the original game so you know green drops are impossible to hit once you come here into this area called the upper land all the enemies kill you there's some enemies that when you put them into like a knockdown state some of them you can hit while they're knocked down some of the knockdown states you can't hit them like that's all the same it's the exact same gameplay which um is neither bad nor good, it's just what it is, but you know, um, nothing has changed there. Now what I do hear and say, notice that people have complained that the bosses are easier. I'm gonna say in playing Adventures of Mana that I disagree, and that what actually has happened is that the bosses are still the same difficulty. You know, it's they have the same stats as the... They have the same stats as before, they have the same stats as in the behavior. Just like all the monsters here, the, the little average mob monsters that I'm killing, have the exact same stats and same behaviors. It's just that in now in a 3D environment with forms rather than sprites, we can actually tell and see certain of the mechanics in the boss fights that you couldn't in sprites. Here in the Great Woods, there's a boss called Axe Beak. It's a bird, it jumps around, and when you play it in the original, if you try to melee it, you know, with weapons and whatnot, you just keep getting blocks. You know, it's like you hit, it doesn't, you hit a little, like, a, you just hit and there's zero damage. And, like I said, with down states with certain enemies, sometimes when they, most enemies have two down states, there's one where you can hit them and one where you can't hit them. It's, it's the difference between being thwacked you know, critical hit, stun, versus, like, being put to sleep. You know, and, and many people who play this game, they know, like, Balloon is one of the greatest uh, status conditions. As opposed to, let's say, Unconscious, you know, put putting them to sleep with uh, other weapons. Because when you sleep, you can't hit them, but a Balloon, and most, you know, like, 99% of the time, you can hit the enemies. So, when you actually play Axby against Axby in this game, you can see the direction it's facing. It can face left, it can face right, or it can face down. In the original HD, 
I mean, the original, like, Super Nintendo version, you can only... it's a sprite, so it can only look left or right. And so you can't actually tell if it's looking down versus whatever the default is for the down-looking sprite. So Waxbeak, I didn't have any problem in this game because I could see which way it's facing. And I want to say the same thing with Spiky Tiger. It's not hard because you can actually tell where it is. You can see the movement of him trying to bite a character while it's in the original sprites of the 2D version. It's it's hard to see because you can't it can't move around as easily as here in a form. And also with sprites you have the layer you know you have all the kerfuffle of sprites being in the same in the same location. Like here I have the characters they're like all stacked together, you know. There's less computational power or at least, you know, determination of what hits there, you know, in 2D rather than here in 3D. It's the same it's the same behaviors, but now you're just not at the mercy of kind of goofy coding of, you know, of being, you know, uh, elevation, you know, I'm on this lower platform and Spikey's on the top platform and all that jazz. So it's not easier, it's just we now can actually tell what we're doing. And so yeah, I like this remake. It's it's nice, it's pleasing to the eye, it's colorful. I think I would still play the original because, and that's more of less of a remake, it's more of um... There's something in sprite work that you can capture emotions and ideas and concepts that you really can't do in, in the 3D versions. Um, I'm thinking of the remake of Final Fantasy Legend 2, Saga 2, for the DS. And there's a moment where a character, the villain, you know, shows all your friends and they're captured. In the 3D version, it just shows the normal, the normal forms here and they're in a cages. While in the original Game Boy, you see them, but they get custom sprites of them on their knees and kind of falling down. You know, it's just that kind of a communication of gesture, which they may or may not do in a 3D remake, and that's up to the dev team, the balance, and blah blah blah. And there's other nitpicks, and, and basically, yeah, all I can have rest is, you know, it's not e this game remake is not easier. It's the same game. It's just now we can tell what we're doing because it's in a 3D environment rather than sprites, which are slightly ambiguous. And so you can turn this off, and the rest is just going to be nit my personal nitpicks of like, oh, I wish it could, they, this is they could have done this versus this. So should have done an animation for Cannonball Travel. Uh, you know. I know they kind of have this for mobile, so like, just put an option where you just cut out that animation and skip it, you know, put that in the options. I wish when forging with Watts that you have the status ability, you have the special ability of the weapon that you have, and the special ability of the weapon you're going to get on the display. I wish here in the menu that it would tell you the special ability of the weapon so you don't have to actually go into the... Uh, weapon chart here, although I do like the fact that you can equip the weapon directly, so yeah, that that's a little less complaining. I wish in the bestiary we could have a full bestiary with analyzer, and that we actually be told what the actual race of the enemies are. This is a fish. And that's the bird. And you know, they say, and I'm Oh, it's one of the pains I have to look up at that. Weapons that are good at, in the original, it says like weapons are good against insects, insects and etc. But it's insects and metallic race enemies. And it's not that they're made out of metal. It's more like they wear arm. It's like steel Pokemon. It's not that they have metal. It's not that they're made out of metal, but they also include things that are like have a hard metallic shell. I think Dragon Quest IX has that as an ability too, where like you can critical hit metallic enemies, so it's all the armors, or you know, knights and armors. Cause some of them are really goofy. Like I get it in mana, like the poultry chairs are plants because it's more of it's not that the ghost the poultry chairs are not plants, 
but they are magically enchanted items, and so therefore they're dryad element, wood element. And that's how they get it. And there's so few light weakness enemies, and eyeballs are considered slimes because they're amorphous and all that. So yeah, a real beast area would have been nice. Any other nitpicks? Ah, oh, there's some... Some staging and directional abilities in the cutscenes of like, whether they do it side by side like a dialogue versus an actual cutscene cutscene. And I haven't beaten this yet, but I believe their timing of certain music is inappropriate. Like, I mean, you turn on the game, they have the whale, they have the giant whaling, and then it begins Fear the Angels. For the actual opening, that takes too long. It kind of goofs up when King Truffle ex tells their legend because you hear the whale song instead of just going straight to Fear the Angels. So, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. So, yeah. This game is not easier because they made it easier, it's easier because we can actually see what's going on, and it's not bad. And I really, really hope. Oh, and it's also a dev thing, like... I know the remake for Trials of Mana is excellent because that's, they just did it from the ground up, but I know they did it from the ground up most likely because the code is so buggy for the original they had to. And it's kind of like a Final Fantasy 3 situation. They did Final Fantasy 3, but they're still learning how to do DS stuff, so it's kind of crummy that they only have three three monsters per battles. You know, that really gimps magical users. And Trials of Mana is wonderful because now they... They did the port for Adventures of Mana, they did the port for Secret of Mana, and then they do a full-fleshed game for Trials of Mana. And enhance their mechanics. Like, oh, well, that's the only thing. I think the only nitpick that they could do is made weapon charging better or different. But then again, that would have to be like a total restructuring of the game. Anyways, I'm just kind of kind of doing little, little keep you company, rambling, babbling. Anything else? Oh, I really. Oh, I'm. They're doing a remake of Legend of Mana, which I hope does very well. They cut all the, they, it's like trials, and they cut out all the goofy mechanics and kind of smooth it out. I really do like the series. One day I'll do Dawn of Mana. Anyways. So yeah, anyway, I haven't done Trials of Mana yet because I'm holding out for a collection of mana. Like, I really want them to do a collection. Or at least, a collection of Mana HD, that's what I mean. So people can actually enjoy the remakes of the of the first one instead of just being hidden away on mobile and PSP, which is now going to disappear because Sony's, Sony invented DRM. Anyway. So I hope you're all having fun, and until next time, I'm T-Rove, and have fun gaming. See ya.